Hello, this is Charles. Um, putting in a Kohler medicine cabinet mirror in the bathroom above the sink. And I thought I would document it for myself. And if you guys are thinking about doing it yourself, you'll be able to see what I did. First of all, I found out the location of studs measuring from my outlet, power outlet here on the wall. Measured over, drilled some marks, found where the one edge was and the other edge was. Looks like it's going to be directly centered above the sink, which is what I was hoping, hoping so I could just use the vertical studs for the side. The model I've got is needs a 14 and a quarter inch opening, which is just the distance between the studs. And then it'll be mounting into the studs. So what I'm going to do is cut a hole in here so that I can see exactly what's going on. Make sure I don't have any electrical wires or anything that I'll be going into. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I've got my <clears throat> initial small hole cut insulation here because this is a an exterior wall. I was able to reach in and verify that there are studs there and reaching up making sure there's no electrical wires because I do have a light fixture here. No plumbing at this height, so I don't have to really worry about cutting in. I made sure I was cutting just through the sheetrock so if there was anything, I wouldn't hit it. You don't want water gushing out of a wall or getting shocked by electricity. So from here, I'll be able to measure my exact opening. What I did was cut out what was in the instructions, a, I believe it was 25 and a quarter tall by 14 and a quarter wide opening. Roughed it out on some cardboard so I'd have my general idea where I was going to put it. So from here, make sure I've got my studs and then I'll go from there, level everything up. Okay, here we've got, <clears throat> just finished finish using, this is a Craftsman multi-tool is what they call it. It's basically a reciprocating saw it's easy to make nice and precise cuts doesn't have to be craftsman there's tons of brands out there just happy to get this one on sale liked it vibrates at very very high speed you see it but um i was able to cut this out to my appropriate dimensions worked out nice having the um the template, even though it was just cardboard, made marking the opening much easier. And there I have my studs, which worked out just right. I have to cut out this insulation and uh, do a, a test fit. And then what I'll do later is put stud across the bottom and stud across the top. It's not required, but it's just something I want to do, kind of tie it in nicely. Provide some insulation so you don't get air coming in around any of the gaps or anything. Got our opening here with our stud walls, or studs in the wall. I've already cut a piece up here and put it in here. This is what I did, just cut a piece of two by four, 14 and a quarter inch long. Drill me out some holes at an angle so I can put it in there and screw it in place. So I'll make a nice firm enclosure for the for the bathroom mirror. Now it's just a matter of 
making sure the cabinet fits in the opening. And we'll be attaching it from the inside with four screws. Let's see how it looks. There we have it. Installed. Ready to go. Good luck. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, enjoy.